Nicola Sturgeon hoarding UK funding claims Niklinski sign up for now and never miss the top politics stories again subscribe when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters. Sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or services we offer. Our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data, and your rights. You can unsubscribe at any time. Tony McClinsky told Express.co.uk that the SNP are determined to secure Scottish independence at all costs. The Scottish Tory added that Mr McClinsky said, the willingness to go for independence at all costs, first of all, is what she has to say to keep her party people loyal so she has little room for manoeuvre. So she has to go for independence but it is a scandal, it is happening in plain sight. The money that is being given to the Scottish government by the UK government is being hoarded by them as a war chest for when they come to the independence referendum so that they can do things that will make them more popular. This is a government that is exploiting its power, and it has been in power for three years, to further its political ambition for independence at all costs. There is no how does this affect Scotland? How does this make life better? So the issues around education, health, social care, these are all urgently needing attention and they are not getting it. Mr. McClinsky also issued a warning to Miss Sturgeon that the clock is ticking on her tenure as Scotland's first minister. The Scottish Tory told Express.co.uk, she has had the levers of power over all the devolved areas such as education and health for more than a decade. UK borders still a bit too leaky says Nicola Sturgeon if she cannot turn that around in three years, then the issue is who in the SNP wants to replace her. Who thinks they can have a better go? Will Alex Salmon come back into the picture? That has got to be worrying her. She must in her own thoughts think is this worth it? Trending Mr. McClinsky added, I am sure she thinks she can't give anything away until she has got through Holyrood. But if we can hold our nerve through that then the clock is ticking for her. The First Minister, however, appears to have been rewarded for her conduct during the pandemic as recent polls have placed the SNP on track for a comfortable majority in May's Scottish elections. On January 8 and 30, 06 Scottish adults showed Miss Sturgeon's party is projected to win seven of the 29 seats available in the Scottish Parliament. <laughs>